today I am here with Lily Pebbles again. We are doing our fourth beauty chat video answering your questions that you have asked in the comments of Lily's last video we popped up on your channel. So yeah. the first question is, three favourite drugstore eyeshadows. Okay, go on, you go. Yeah. My first one is the Maybelline, is it Maybelline? Yeah, yeah. Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 Hour and this is in On and On Bronze. And I love this little thing, it's a cream eyeshadow. And I always talk about this one I've like used so much. <laughs> yeah. um, it's just really easy to use. It's not too creamy that it slips off and slides around your face, but it's like really easy to blend with your finger or a brush, and it's a lovely, easy bronze colour. I and actually have exactly the same one. That was one of my picks too. I for every single reason that Lily has already said. It's so good. You can wear it like under other brown eyeshadows or just by yeah. itself. It's good for like a school if you wear makeup at school. It's a good one for that. I like it just as a one wash, just yeah. across done. Yeah. I'm going to move on to another one, which I think Lily has also picked up the same yeah, one, which is this. the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Bronzed Taupe Eyeshadow. Yeah. And I don't think you can get this shade in the UK, but if you're ever heading to America, I highly recommend that you pop this on your shopping list. I have Amber Rush as well, which I think is an American shade, which is I kind of like a is. rose gold colour. The colours are just gorgeous, but it's also the formulas are just amazing. They're like creamy but it's like a pressed pigment and you yeah. get a bit of shimmer but not too much glitter and this shade in particular is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's what I'm wearing in most really? videos actually. I just wear like a like light sweep over the eyes but just the formula of these is amazing. Highly recommend those. So good. They look like they're going to be powdery but they're quite yeah. creamy. They're just they're really like the Armani um, eyes to eyes kill. kill. It's basically a drugstore dupe. They are. Now, come on, I think we have different ones for the third one, Woo! so what's yours? Okay, so mine is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Paint. Um, I'll try and decide whether this counts as an eyeshadow, but I guess it does, but yeah. it's kind of like a liquid eyeshadow. Um, it looks like a lip gloss, and you put it all over the lid and then quickly blend it out, and I love this. This is in the shade Rich Russet, and I love it because it just sets, and then this is my longest lasting eye product that Lily I own. Lily is officially obsessed with that. I'm obsessed, it's so yeah. good. If I ever know I'm like out filming all day or have like a long day out, then I always wear this because I trust it. I love that every single colour that we picked is basically the bronze. same bronze. This <laughs> one is kind of more of a like golden y amber shade. That? This is a new one, but I had the original one. I think I just bought it out in new packaging, and it's the Max Factor. Max Effect Mono Eyeshadow in the shade Golden Bronze. That looks yeah, nice. Golden Bronze. Um, but it's just a nice golden sweep. It doesn't, it's quite unique in my collection. I don't think there's yeah, anything it's a else. yellowy golden. It actually bronze. reminds me a bit of Max Sober. Yes. And you know how I feel about Max Sober. I love that shade. So I think these are really nice. Right, second question. If you had to pick one high end and one drugstore brand to use for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? This was so hard when you sent me, she like sent me a text <laughs> to tell me the questions she chose. I, I was like, geez, that is a tough one. That's a tough one. I think for high end, I was torn between two, and the two were NARS and Bobbi Brown. But I think because I get a lot of people tell me I'm such a NARS person, so I think I'm you a bit NARS. You are NARS. I would have guessed NARS. Yeah, I think, you. I mean, I don't use everything from NARS, but if I had to, they do a nice tinted moisturiser, they do nice primers. Nice concealer. Nice concealer, nice bronzer, nice blushes. Nice lip products. They do loads of eyeshadows, I don't really use them, but I could. Yeah. Lip products, I could. And that's kind of everything you need, really. Eyeliners, nice. Mascara, I've never tried NARS mascara. No, neither have I. So maybe that's the only thing. I sure. think if I had to pick a high-end one, I would pick, oh, Tuffy Laura Mercier. Yeah. Possibly, because I like them across the board as well. I really like their bases. I love their cheek colours. Their lip glosses are incredible. Their eyeshadows are really nice. It's kind of one of those ones that across the board I like everything. Yeah. I haven't tried any of their mascaras either. I have. You love one of them. I really like one of the Laura Mercier mascaras. You, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think across the board, it's quite like a natural aesthetic, which is completely not my cup of tea. So yeah. that would be my one. What about uh, your drugstore one? See, this one, I, I, <laughs> sure, I had to message Amelia and be like, if I were to like, ask her what mine is, because it's, I had to like, at least go look at Boots and like try and remember what everything is. I was a bit confused, but I think in the end I chose Rimmel. Ooh, okay, yeah. But you're, whatever you're going to say, I'm going to be like, yes, damn, that was my one. <laughs> um, I think Rimmel, um, they have like Apocalypse, Moisture Renew lipsticks. Mm. Uh, what else did I like from Rimmel? Good concealers. Concealers. Wait, I have a list on my phone. I want to remember what the products are. I wrote this down. One minute. They do the, obviously the liquid shadow that I mentioned, and they do really nice nail polish and eyeliners I really like. You know, they have that total Oh, the scandalizer. 
Rimmel's yeah. Gowns. Okay, yeah. Rimmel's Gowns guys range is really good. I think Rimmel's. I like trust Rimmel. I feel like when they bring yeah. out new products, they know they're going to be really good. See, now you've it's given hard. that justification, I feel like maybe my <laughs> Rimmel on. too. I Bourgeois. was originally going to say Bourgeois. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I was going to say Bourgeois or Revlon. Yeah, Revlon. I was thinking because they do of... like the the lip things. That I love. They do the colour burst lip crayons. Yeah, but also the moisturising lip balms. They're really famous Oh ones. god! Lip butters! Oh yeah, lip I butters. Love those. Oh, yeah. Revlon and Rimmel are both like really good. And also I really like, I always think if I like a brand's bases, then I'll be alright. And the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation is really nice. Yeah. And the Bourjois, the newest one they've come out with. I haven't tried that yet. Again? The Happy Light one is really nice. So I, that was my kind of criteria, so I... I think Bourjois is probably you, I would have said Bourjois. I you. think I would have to go Bourjois with that one. Oh, that is a hard question. I don't like questions like that. Don't ask questions like Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> and then someone asked how to clean brushes, what with, how often, and how to dry them. So I didn't bring mine with me, but I have two ways of cleaning my brushes. Um, when I need to do it quickly, I use a MAC brush cleanser. So you just yeah. squeeze a bit onto a kitchen towel and you go into your brush and it's clean in like seconds. And yeah, I love that stuff. Way. It does dry out your brushes a little bit so I don't do it that often. But when when you're in like a time pinch yeah. situation that's the one. Exactly. Going for. And when I deep cleanse, is that what it's called? Deep clean? Yeah, deep clean. Yeah. Yeah, when my brushes, I use the Dr. Bronner magic soap which you can buy in like anywhere, like all the online like beauty websites and American yeah. apparel and stuff. Um, and I just, how do I do it? I run my brush underwater downwards yeah you never want to get it into this bit you never want to get the water yeah it always has to be the other way around is it called a ferrule yeah a ferrule um put a bit of soap in of my hand just swish the brush around squeeze it all out and then light flat to dry it's really quick and easy i put some music on or watching youtube videos I quite enjoy it i usually watch youtube videos yeah. <laughs> as well i do the same but for the first like spot cleaning one i use this and it's the the pro hygiene collection makeup brush cleaner Wow, what, this what was the brand? Pro Hygiene Cleaner? The Pro Hygiene Collection, oh. I think. Um, I the Pro Hygiene Collection. I got it from Cold Beauty. And I've used the MAC one before, but I prefer this one because it has a spray. And it has the oh. coolest spray. It's one of those sprays that just like gets right into the brush. You spray it onto the brush? You spray it like onto the brush. Like, shh, shh. I'm not going to spray it anymore. <laughs> um, you just spray it onto the brush and then I do the same thing. I just put it on a bit of kitchen roll. The colour comes out. And it's dry in like a matter of seconds. Mm, I might just try that. Is it expensive? Cheap? Mm, I think it's around the same price as the Mac one. When mine runs out, I'm going to try there that. There you go. That's a good one. And then I use the Dr. Bronner's as well. But my tip is when you lie your brushes to dry, I dry them on like flannels. Yeah. I lay out my flannel there for this one. Is to dry them hanging off the side of a table like that. So, so this is your table. You put it on like that. And then you don't ever get a flat side of the brush. You get fully fat, fluffy brush. Keeps its shape. Keeps also like to shape. shape them slightly. If it's like a tapered brush, I kind of Do that while it. it's damp. Yeah. That, that was quite, there was a lot of tips there. There was a lot of tips. Yeah. I think I did like a whole post on cleaning brushes. It's quite a detailed. I will find it. I will link it below. <laughs> the next question is, best tip for covering under eye circles? I get quite, actually I used to get really bad under eye circles. Quite bad. They're not as bad anymore. I sleep a bit more these days. <laughs> um, but I use two products. The first is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. This is really good because it's kind of peachy, salmon-y tone. So it, instead of just covering the dark circles, it kind of cancels out the dark yeah. shade. And I like to just place it exactly where I need it. So I use like a flat concealer brush and I put it just in the inner corners and outer. And a good tip is when you're looking into the mirror, if you tilt your head down, you can see where the shadow oh God, is. that's terrifying your eye. when you look down. Yeah. <laughs> That's never a good look. So I just <laughs> I use that, blend it out, and then I use my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer on top, um, which is nice. It's kind of brightening for the under eye area. That's a nice combination. Yeah. I always think with dark circles, for me, it's just the way that the skin hangs over my face. There's kind of not much that can really like, be done with it. I just have dark circles. Aside from when I sleep more, I do notice that they kind of cancel them out and drinking water and all that kind of jazz. Um, I like these. Have you tried these yet? We tried them in that video we did with Amelia, didn't we? I tried you them. You tried them. Yeah. The Skin Iceland um, Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These are just like really cool pads. Mm. I guess you could get a similar effect from using like cucumber, but fancy something a little bit fancier. These you just kind of slap right under your eyes. I'll link a video below where Lily actually uses them. It's quite entertaining. <laughs> at first, but they do feel nice and cooling. They feel like shoe inner soles, but they feel really nice and cooling under the eyes. So yeah. if it's more puffiness that I need help with, I go for this. And then in terms of concealers, I'm the same as Lily, I use the same ones that she does, but I thought I'd bring 
some other ones that I like and this is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and this is really, it's full coverage isn't it? So yeah, yeah. as well. I like to sometimes, even though those concealers don't cover everything, it's just this bit down here so I just like pat a bit of that one in. I think applied with fingertips, it needs kind of fingertips to warm it up a bit but I really like that one. And then this is a new one and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Extra Light. Ooh. Have you tried this one? No, I don't think I have. It's very similar, it's in the same vein as the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer. I find it to be a little more dry in finish, a little less tacky in finish, but it is seriously, oh my god, the coverage It's probably quite stuff. good for your face, like any blemishes. Really good for like blemishes or under eyes if you use a bit of like a good moisturiser there before. I really like that one. Do you know what else is nice for like puffy kind of under eyes? What that, else is nice? That Jade Roller from Cold Beauty. I always bought that. It's so good. I, oh, it's Me and my like, mum like share mine. And the Ying Ju so, yeah. Jade Facial Roller. You don't have to something. keep it in the fridge. It like stays cool all the time. It's like magic. That actually feels incredible on your face. I agree with you on that it one. It really helps. Okay, and then the fifth question is to do with facial hair removal. I think someone had actually just wrote facial hair removal, question mark. And so, you know, we're not one to like shy away from questions. I think if anyone's like going to do a video on facial hair, it's going to be the hairy YouTubers. It's true. <laughs> we, are, we are hairy girls, okay? Just putting it out there, I putting think, it out there. I think it's something we need to be open about, you know? Yeah. It's not just guys that get facial hair. <laughs> no, no. Definitely not. Heck, I, I was called Gorilla Girl in school. Oh, Anna. They called me Gorilla Girl. I was that hairy. Seriously, razors were like a revelation. I bet they're regretting that now. If you're watching, bullies. Bullies, yeah. <laughs> mean, smelly boys. Um, I actually really like this, this little crazy contraption. It's called the Japanesque Touch-Up Razor Brush. Not for your lady tash, but for if you've got like huge eyebrows like I have that kind of go like up into your hairline, it's good just to kind of take a bit of the fuzz off. Like, sometimes there's little tiny hairs that you can't really get with I'm not very good at trimming my brows. I get it done when I get them threaded. You go to blink. Yeah, yeah and in between, brows. I'm just like, use a clear brow gel. <laughs> like, come on, stay put. You can do it. But this is really handy if you don't go, if there's not blink near you, yeah. and you just need a bit of, like, touching up on the ends. Like, my eyebrows, I swear, go down to, like, here. So I just need to take off a little bit of the fuzz, and I do that with this. Have you got any? Did you really just start with brows and then you're going to leave me to like do the well, I have, facial Well, I have the moustache option too. Oh my god. <laughs> my moustache option is this and it's called Bliss, Bliss Fuzz Off. <laughs> amazing name, amazing product. It kind of does exactly what it says on the tin. It comes with a little rubber tip. Oh, mine is well used. And I just pop it on my moustache yeah. and then you use the other side and you like scrape it off. So it's, it's like says, it's like um, Veet used it's to like be for Veet, legs. But for your face, it doesn't smell too funky. And the thing I like about this is it like everything goes. You need to leave it on for like five minutes, if that. I would suggest not leaving it on. I think it recommends like ten minutes. Don't do that. Do not do that. I had to sit with like a pack of peas on my face for like the rest of the night. Five minutes is all you need. Don't do it when you need to go anywhere because you will have a bit of a like red moustache left, and that's just not a good look. But the morning after, no moustache. No funky smells, amazing. Nice. So I've there got a go. bit of a uh, against products like that just because I don't really know why. Growing up, my best friend's mum was a beautician, so from a young age, she was always like, wax, never shave, do this, oh, never do wax. that. Ow. I'm always I'm very worried about things like growing back thicker. <laughs> so I used to get everything waxed, um, but you just have to do it so regularly and yeah. it bloody hurts. Um, I went through a stage of like using Jolin bleach. Oh, I um, always think that makes it look. It just yeah. gives me a dark If you have dark image. skin, it makes you, yeah. Like, my friends who are blonde can do it fine, but for us, I think you can just yeah. see it more. Yeah, you just end up with a blonde beard. Yeah, yeah. so now I actually get laser. Um, <laughs> as embarrassing as that is, if I help <laughs> some of you who are thinking about getting it done, um, I go to a lady who's actually quite cheap because it can be really expensive. And it kind of hurts, but it lasts, I only have to go like every three months, maybe. It's amazing. And it's awful because they have to shave first, which is like the most oh. traumatic thing to have to shave your face. It's actually horrendous. But they shave at first because there can't be any hair there. And then they kind of like, they put this like machine on it that like, zaps, like it's like a red light. And it's a bit of like a, ooh, but it's not as bad as threading. It's definitely not as bad as plucking. And it's, although it's slower than waxing, one thing I like about waxing is like one strip. Yeah, you're It's done. slower, but it lasts for ages. And it's really worth it. Um, if there's those like discount codes I think for like laser treatments, mm. but I really think it's worth it. I love laser. I would get it everywhere if I could. I'm definitely gonna get hooked up with Lily's laser lady. I use laser on my underarms now. And oh, genius! Genius! I'm not gonna lie, it's the most painful thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I was, I was 
swearing my head off in this poor lady's house. But oh my god, I haven't had to shave my underarms for like six weeks. I've never okay, experienced anything. We like can't be it. friends. I'm just it's amazing. Just like so we have like dark hair. So this is very exciting yeah, to us. This is very exciting. Um, Lily's already converted me to her hairdresser and I think her lady, <laughs> the lady is going to be the next person in my phone book. Um, and then the final question someone asked was, we, we get asked quite a lot of questions about this actually, like starting YouTube or starting a blog and all those kinds of things. And me and Lily were actually going to put together a little series, aren't we? Very early next year, so if you're interested in our advice on that kind of thing, we will answer every single question. We're literally going to be doing like six videos over our, both our channels. Yeah. In January, because you know a lot of people like to start blogs and YouTube channels then. And if, that's, be, if that's your New Year's resolution, yeah, then done. We're going to be sharing lots of tips and showing like what we use and how we do it and stuff. So There you go. Exciting. So keep an eye out for that. And then our next beauty chat video will be going up on Lily's channel. So check out her channel. I will pop a link below here on her face, somewhere, everywhere. <laughs> there will be links to Lily's channel. And for our next video, we're actually inviting our friend, Amelia from Liana Beauty to come and be in it too, which we're really looking forward to. Yeah. It'll be Christmas jumpers galore, it will be great. So if you have any questions for us, then do pop them below and we will answer them in that video. Any kind of Christmassy beauty, yeah, like winter trends. skincare. Amelia really knows her skincare, she has she amazing does. hair, so she add does. some hair ones in there as well. There you well. go, and we will answer them next time. But yeah. thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.